Okay, so on this episode, we're going to fabricate the front of the engine bay here to fit my larger uh, radiator. The dimensions are a little bit different than the stock radiator as well as the mounting points, so we're going to have to fabricate in a couple bolts. Uh, there's two upper plates that we're going to have to weld onto the front of the uh, core support here, and then two on the bottom. The coolant outlets on the upper is okay, but the coolant outlets on the lower is not okay. You'll notice it's very low. So when we're mounting this, like so, You'll notice the outlet here uh, that comes up the top is directed actually right where the thermostat is on the engine, so that's perfect. Uh, but it's a little higher than the core support, so we've got to mount it lower. The problem with that is the outlet, you'll notice down there, hits the frame. So we've got to cut into the bottom of that frame in order to clear uh, having the water outlet going through there. Okay, so I decided to cut it a little bit shorter uh, to give it more strength here. I cut it at 50%, uh, basically halfway through. I think 50% was the rule. Uh, anyways, as far as notching, you notch more than 50%, it's just going to flex no matter what you do. I'm going to basically fold in a piece of metal coming in from this side, flat, and then down like that. I actually have a um, plate, thankfully enough, that's the exact width of this, so that's great. All you do is cut it to the length, which is a little bit over 5 inches. Uh, bend the two angles here so that it fits flush. Um, then I'm going to grind this all down so it's all bare metal. Tack in a couple spots there to keep it all in place. And then weld over the rest of the seams over. And then it uh, should be strong, if not stronger than it was before. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna stare deep into uh, deep into Ben's weld until I smell toast. Okay, so I've got the notch pretty good. Uh, at least I think that's pretty good. Okay, so there's the notch. I think that's done pretty well. Uh, so that's where the uh, lower part of the radiator is going to go through. Um, right here, I'm going to drill a hole right through this. It's just a flat little seam right there. Uh, and that'll be actually a bolt placement for the bottom of this radiator here. So you've got the water outlet down there, which goes through that little cavity there. So that is going to bolt right into the bottom of that right there. So when I have a hole drilled up through there, all I gotta do is put the bolt in there and that holds that up and then I'll fabricate a bracket to stick out there uh, so that actually holds the radiator up right at the right angle. Now once I got that done, obviously I've got some other um, bolting points here. I'm gonna fabricate off of this and off of here somewhere to come off uh, to hold the radiator really, really, really steadily. So, let's get it started.
All right, so I've created this bracket here. Uh, it seems to be very uh, interesting, but uh, believe it or not, this is gonna hold pretty daggone firmly. Uh, hold this part of the radiator up. Uh, so this bolts, uh, well, doesn't bolt, it welds uh, right there. Uh, and it's gonna be a little bit more snug. I'm gonna weld this top one first, and then I'm gonna hammer that up closer, and then weld right there. Uh, so that's gonna be a two point, at least, mount, which is a lot better than a one point mount, so that should hold it uh, quite well, actually. Okay, so now that we've got this welded up uh, in place pretty big on well, I was hitting it with a hammer before, I was shaking this whole bar. So I'll do the same thing over here for the other side. So let's do it. Thanks for watching the video guys. Sorry it kind of cut off a little bit short there. Um, the warehouse where I had all my VHS tapes kind of burnt down so I didn't really have anything left to show you at the end there. But um, the radiator does mount up there. You saw it in an earlier shot. That was the last mount that I was uh, welding up there. So everything went out um, really well actually. But we have videos every Friday. Um, so our next wheel video that's kind of coming out is going to be the uh, engine bay. We're going to be sanding it down, painting it, um, and then maybe even getting into the built engine a little bit. Um, so that'd be pretty cool. Uh, if you guys uh, haven't had a chance to watch them yet, we do car features, car reviews, um, like uh, Mark's 400 horsepower Evo. Uh, we released that last Friday. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you haven't seen that yet, we have it right there for your viewing pleasure. Pleasure yourself right there. Um, and we're gonna be doing more of those. We're gonna have another one coming out this coming Friday. Uh, it'll be another turboed car. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, owner's extremely, extremely unique. Um, but yeah, just let us know uh, in the comments what you think about our format, if you think that we should talk less, if you think that we should talk more, if we should have more of the owner, if we should have more glamour shots of the car, more technical stuff, mm -hmm. you know, just whatever you guys are looking for, like we want to know so that we can put it in the video. Yeah. Um, yeah, but thanks a ton for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Cool.